you want to go ahead and say your name and title? Okay. I'm Rick Smith, uh, Vice President of Behavioral Health at Medical Center. And you're standing in front of, um, if you want to go ahead and explain. Yeah, we're standing in front of the, uh, the old funeral home warehouse building that we purchased uh, back in 1999. This building is being, will be demolished now to, uh, as we start our new expansion project uh, that will be kicking off in October. Uh, this is actually on the periphery of the construction site and will actually be used for the uh, contractor's trailers and subcontractor's subcontractor trailers and, and uh, assorted other uh, construction functions. Uh, ultimately, after the project uh, is completed in 2010, this will revert back to uh, flat parking spaces for, uh, for our staff and visitors. And demolition could begin as soon as? Demolition is slated to begin in the next, uh, probably in the next two weeks as we uh, complete the abatement process. And um, again, t to reiterate on kind of what Tammy was saying about the, the patient growth. Um, yeah, Bay Medical has been fortunate. We've seen about a 35% increase in, in patient admissions over the last five years, and thus the, the need for the new patient tower. Uh, this tower had about 140 uh, private rooms to our complement, uh, and, uh, and that's one of the things that drives patient satisfaction, obviously. And if, if groundbreaking on this expansion is in October, um, can you give an idea of, of the length of time to complete the project? The project slated to be uh, 22 to 24 months, so we're looking at uh, mid-October of 2008 and then uh, hopefully having occupancy in uh, October 2010. Okay.